Welcome everyone. In this tutorial we'll cover how to implement arms and animations to our game. So if we go to the content drawer, I've supplied a folder below containing animations for each weapon we're going to have in the game and a pair of arms. And this is just the base mannequin arms. So firstly to start we need to be able to actually apply these animations based on a state and the way we can do this is with an animation blueprint so in our animations folder let's right click and create an animation blueprint using the mannequin arm skeleton let's call it abp underscore fps arms meaning anim blueprint fps arms now we need to go to our first person character viewport and in our mesh 2p go to our skeletal mesh and apply the mannequin arms now we've done that you can copy down these values and that just sets it to align with the camera so 4.5 on the x 5.0 on the y and minus 166 on the Z and just rotate it by 90 degrees to face forward so now let's open up our anim blueprint FPS arms so now we have an output pose this will be the final result which is applied to our character now what we need to do is create a state machine And let's just call this KA47 for now, as we are going to use the AK model. So plug this into the result. So now we have a warning because there is no entries at the moment. So the first entry should be add a state and let's call this idle because we want the character to idle within the first state. So the default state should just be idling and there is no condition to enter. However, if we want to walk, let's create a new state and call this walk. And let's add a return transition. And now there is a condition to get to walk. And this condition should be, is the character speed above a certain value? Now, if we compile, we need to give it a condition and the way we can do this is by going to the event graph let's cast to first person character its object should be try get pawn owner compile from here let's promote this to a variable so we can reference it so let's first have a sequence just to make it a bit cleaner so now get velocity and it should be for target actor the whole character now let's get its length by doing vector length that gives us a float to work with now let's see if it's greater than zero if it is then let's promote this to a variable and call it is moving because if it is greater than zero is moving will be true and we can plug this in here select all of these and press q to straighten so now now we have is moving we can go back into our state machine and the can enter transition is is moving and exit transition should be is moving not true not that not boolean yes so now is moving not true so now we need to plug in our animations let's go to idle and find KA47 arms idle. Plug this in. 
enter the result and walk respectively so now if we go back to first person character apply ABP FPS arms you can see our arms are successfully animated Now, one thing we have to do is sprinting. If we go to our walk, off walk, we should go to sprint, or let's just call it sprinting. So now, go back to our event graph. Let's get sprinting. Promote this to our variable is sprinting and just plug this into the sequence and that should work so now if we go back is sprinting true then you can enter the transition however is sprinting not true then we can exit the transition and we just need sprint and now if we go back into the game walking idling sprinting and it's working as intended that's it for this episode we got our anim blueprint working along with a pair of arms in the next episode, we're going to look at weapons with.